legendary Chief Adewale Ayuba on the bandstand. Stephen to shut my mouth. Shut it. Koshida! Koshidanu! She said Koshidanu. That when a Yoruba woman tells you Koshidanu, it means war. Let us talk about Ada Omodadi. Just in case you have not seen my review on Malaika by Tony Abraham. Please go check it out. It's the video before this one. I promise you you would enjoy it. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe and let me know if you've seen it or not. So now back to the review for today. We're going to be talking about Adam or Daddy, my expectations, what I liked about the film, what I did not like, the characters and performances that stood out for me, and why I think you should or shouldn't i don't even think i'll say you shouldn't see the movie you definitely should see the movie but i'll give the reasons why i think you should go see the movie ada omo daddy so talking about my expectations for the movie my expectations going into the film uh i really didn't know what to expect because i saw the trailer the trailer kept popping on my instagram feed here and there but i kept dodging it because if you're an og on this channel you will know that i always always try my best not to watch trailers to movie i mean i used to do trailer reaction videos but i just found out that with, with nollywood films most times what you expect is not what you get so instead of raising my expectations and watching the trailer i just ditch the trailers and just go into the film without knowing what to expect which i did for those films so i ignored the trailers completely but i knew we had this party wedding party vibe which i was really really bothered um because i mean that was like the beginning of the trailer i knew that i had like this wedding party thingy going on there and which made me really really skeptical about the film because i was just like hope it's not a replica of wedding party yeah but yeah i didn't know what to expect just so you know so now going into the synopsis of the film ada omodadi's carefully constructed world collides with her past on her daughter's introduction day an unexpected call from ifrain peros biological father throws the family into chaos Perosola's identity crumbles as she discovers the man who raised her isn't a biological father. Caught between two fathers, Perosola navigates conflicting emotions of resentment, curiosity, and loyalty. I mean, the synopsis just says it all. It's, it's about this middle-aged woman called Ireti. A character was played by Shela Shubawali. Life was going well. She has this three grown-up children who are doing so well for themselves in their different ways and first daughter Corsola, the character played by Omo Omida that just got proposed to she's engaged to Tyre Faniron's character Mr. Victor who seems like a young man that is doing okay for himself as well they are both influential families everyone is excited for the wedding Priscilla has this younger sister called Farah who is a social media sensation who likes to put everything out there who more like a, an Instagram or a social media influencer who likes to vlog her life so you know when Priscilla per, got engaged accidentally or fortunately unfortunately for the family you know the video got online and that was where if I that's Charles Okafor's character found out about Perisola, Soyeriti, and you know, that drew him back to his past and that made him come forth to come and claim Perisola as his child. So, you know, Perisola, who has been used to the loving care of her father, Mr. Balogun, character played by Mr. Delio Dile, you know, she's been used to his love, his warmth, and you know, just the idea of growing up in that family basically. It was She was very torn and very conflicted as to what to do. A lot of things are just happening. I am trying not to give out spoilers for this film i feel like i can just keep going and going and going because this movie was something i mean i was trying to wrap my head around how i want this review to go because if i start to talk about certain things that i found very sensitive in this film i might just start to unpack the entire movie and it might just ruin it for those that haven't seen it but it would be a very good flow for those that have seen the movie because you can be able to relate to the film so let's talk about the characters and their performances and maybe i'll go in depth into some things that happen in the film without giving out huge spoilers we have the character of omo Dada. right now i'm a huge fan of omo Dada, not just because of what she's doing nollywood wise but but what she's also doing internationally you know her teaching and teaching about african culture african stories and whatnot so i'm a huge fan of her and of hers and 
I'm just very, very, uh, I mean, I was very excited going to the film knowing she was playing the lead character. Mommy Dada played a very good character. She played a very, she did a very good job playing Perosola. She was likable at some point. Yeah. Her character was really frustrating and annoying. But at the same time, I was trying to relate to her character and understand why she was making some of the decisions that she made in this film because there were some decisions that she made that was really, really annoying and made her look gullible and not bright. But, and in fact, there were some things she was doing at some point. Those that were seated behind me at the cinemas, they just took over the whole film. They were discussing, they were calling her names. In as much as I'm trying to like make a case for her and say, okay, I get why she's behaving like this. At a point, I just couldn't get it. I couldn't wrap my head around the decisions she was making. I felt like she was very self-centered and she was thinking about just herself and not how it was affecting those around her, most especially her mom, Ireti. So yeah, um, Omo Mi Dada's character wasn't very much likable, but I mean, I still liked her character. I still liked how Omo Mi Dada portrayed her character, Perosola, and how she carried herself. I really enjoyed it so yeah moving on to auntie shola shobowali she gave us the same old vibe action mama very very intense very quick to action very vocal loud very expressive she had some emotional scenes with a mom that's character which i connected to and it kind of took me back to sister you know understanding and trying to relate to a mom who had to bring up her children or a child single-handedly or had to like fight for the safety of her child or had to rescue her child for some sort of dangerous situation and now the father is back into the picture and he's trying to like just automatically act like everything is fine nothing went wrong trying to just erase all the pain and the hurt with just the word sorry so you know she had one or two car um, one or two scenes that were really intense with um you know mommy dada you know so those scenes really stood out for me the scene where she was crying on the bed with Perosola, and also the scene where they were by the stairs where they were there was this huge confrontation between her and Perosola that led to her even slapping her that scene i wish i i got the reaction of the you know the audience when that scene came on like everyone in fact the the, the reaction was epic so i really liked that she came through and in as much as this is a character that we've seen her play time and time again it's very interesting to see how it feels very new i don't feel bored it's not one of, she's not one of those veteran actress that i'm like oh my god i'm tired of her seeing this scene i'm tired of her playing this role over and over again it's so crazy that if someone else tries to play that role in that same capacity i might just roll my eyes and i'm like why is Antila not playing this role <laughs> do you get what i mean so i mean it sounds kind of biased but it just attests to how good she is when it comes to her craft we also had daily odulays character he played mr balogun that's Perusola's father and um Iretiola's husband i feel like he did a fantastic job he did an okay job playing the father of daily um, playing the father of Perusola, a rich man who loves his kids loves Feyi, loves farah you know who is there for his children who just pours his kids and you know has this love and affection for his kids so i think he portrayed that character well and he actually fits the role of a rich man who is affluential and who has a name you know a huge name on his shoulders we also had messy Aigbe's character Aigbe's character was just like able in this film i love that chemistry with atishola on screen they just had this great sister sister character they had this great sister chemistry they were very likable i mean i liked that surprisingly i liked that she despite the fact that she produced this film and she owns this film i like that she didn't play the lead character and i think i complained about this with one other person's film i think it was funke akindele's film that she must be obeyed if you go back to my review i think i mentioned why how i kind of wish she didn't play the lead character and give it to somebody else so i liked how miss Aigbe did that with this film and definitely the fact that she didn't play the lead role she played a very vital supporting character and she still stood out let's talk about her costume and makeup and mannerism the way she and and Shela were just coming through with the insults the yoruba the ajasa like the chris if i'm to put it that way she really stood out and I just like that in this show. I, in fact, she made me laugh a couple of times. She gave me that actual, real, uh, rich, no nonsense anti vibe. 
she came through and i enjoyed seeing her on my screen i mean thinking talking about it now i feel like when the movie comes on a streaming platform i'll definitely be seeing the game necessarily because of her like i just ha she was just a vibe in the film shut my mouth yes. shut it we also had Chiwete Lago, who played the character of Ifain's uncle. He played a very original character, what we're just seeing him play. You know, when people are talking, he's putting, he's just putting different um, exclamations, repeating what they are saying. Uh, so it wasn't different from what he would usually play, but he still came through with the comedic relief. He was very funny. He made us, he cracked our ribs a lot in the cinemas. Like people were laughing at his jokes. And I mean, he had a plan because he and Ifai, we we're going to get Ifai's character. He had a plan as to how they were going to get Squirrel away from if from e retiola doesn't work so whenever plan a doesn't work you say well, now we'll go to plan b and then we'll go to plan c um, i feel like he got to plan f safe yes he got to plan f fire for fire i mean his character was just very funny he said koshidano that when a yoruba woman tells you koshidano it means war is it time for us to go to plan b bombardment um we also had bb ninja fina surprisingly she was good in this film she played the younger character of um iritiola and i think that casting was good but i'll talk about that much more when i'm talking about the things i liked so she surprisingly delivered and i i don't know why i'm shocked but she was able to carry that character well we saw how she was a you know timid naive young girl who you know got pregnant for this young man who wants her to get rid of it but when she insisted on keeping the baby the guy was compelled to marry her oh i'm getting into the story i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm sorry but yeah we saw how she had to fight for the life of her child actually the scene where she was carrying her baby and she was running and there was chaos in this on the street and they were fighting and she fell on the floor and she was pleading for help i feel like she conveyed those emotions really well and she was at the very she was at the beginning of the film like i think was the first you know after the opening montage i and i feel like that was such a strong start point for the film so yeah i mean fina surprisingly did well so at charles okafo who played the character of ifying perosola's actual dad a biological dad and you know this man got a lot of insults at the cinemas and apparently he's been off screen for a long time just as imeka ike was off screen imeka ike that was in malaika so i don't know how long he's been off screen for but i mean his character i feel like the issue was with how his character was written and not how he portrayed his character because when it comes to how he portrayed his character i feel like he did it to a t he got us feeling how the writer wanted us to feel if that was you know his mission we were so pissed at him he had audacity he was audacious he was annoying he was frustrating he was he was infuriating like it was like you should remove your shoe and stone him he had so much confidence despite knowing that he was so wrong and no remorse whatsoever like the, in fact the, in fact i feel like he did well the fact that we're able to feel those things just tells you how much he was able to convey you know those emotions and those feelings to us we also had um tommy ojo i really liked seeing tommy ojo in this film i think i feel like my first encounter with her was in um this high school film yeah the netflix series far from home i feel like that was my first encounter with her character and i liked her character in this film so pretty excited when i saw her in this film and she a character stood out for me you know she had this gen z vibe this obsessed you know young adult who just wants to be on social media wants to put everything out there so uh, yeah i like the character as well last but definitely not the least on my list we had tayo Fanero. i deliberately left tayo Fanero as the last because oh my goodness i do have a lot to say tayo Fanero plays the character of mr victor you know Omomi Dada, that's Perosola's fiance in the film. You know, they got engaged, they love each other, they seem to care about each other. But I didn't see that being conveyed in the film. And I don't even know if I'm being honest. I don't even think he had anything to do with how his character was written or maybe it was maybe it was as a result of poor directing. Because I mean, if somebody is not conveying the emotions the right emotions if you as a director cannot see it i mean viewers are not blind so definitely they can always do a retake a retake to the person 
gets it so if you are trying to manage time but i don't know what happened which was very very underwhelming and disappointing his character just felt very flat and lifeless i thought i was the only one until like i had to talk to the person next to me like am i the only one that feels like this guy is not like it's just very it was just very lifeless i don't even know what other word to use it was not giving at all i didn't get that chemistry between the both of them i didn't get the old lover boy vibe from him i didn't get the vibe of someone that was excited to get married i didn't get the vibe of someone that was obsessed or you know was in love with his girlfriend like there were a lot of things i even did that made me quite that, that just you know that just super glued <laughs> that's what that just sealed up how i was feeling about his character generally like why would they tell you this and this is happening you're so chilled why is this person ranting to you and i just like hey what do you not want to do like this oh i think I, like ah no action nothing zero mannerism zero charisma delivery of lines were just there i'm just like what is going on this is the same time i one we saw in gangs of lagos it had a very strong i was not a very strong ball i mean he made an impression in the film gang of lagos and i don't know if because it was as a result of how his character was written and his character playing a vital role and how his character was executed in the film and how his character was discontinued maybe that was why we felt so much presence with this character other than in this film but maybe it's just playing the role of a gangster a very strong intense fierce person is more applicable to him than playing the role of a lover boy or a sweet boy or anything like that because i was saying i was telling her like imagine if he was in fact timini egbosan was playing this role ah, forget he would have smiled we'll be getting the dimple we'll be getting the you know like i'm not a huge fan of timini egbosan but like it would when it comes to lover boy it would deliver or sh then she was like okay what if he was even dynamic mention playing this kind of like imagine he would have slayed this role and it's so annoying that i want me that da had to play that character i don't know like it just did not ah no 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 it was such a huge letdown ah i feel like i already i'm already talking about things i didn't like but yeah so if anyone's character didn't come through for me which was really really disappointing but let's move on to the things i liked about this film first of all i love the casting of fina as the younger um version or, or the younger self of iretiola i liked it like they had this they had the same facial look they had the same mannerism in a way not as intense as anshola's own but you know i feel like if the writing was had required fina to behave like that i feel like she would have delivered a bit or i mean enough and also they you know they are both fair in complexion it just fits it just clicked i just like i just felt like she was the perfect you know person to play younger auntie shola um also i liked the story and how it was told not I don't know should i say i, I liked the storytelling and not the story itself or i liked the story itself and not the storytelling i just I, I'm, I'm yet to you know I decide on what exactly i liked in that aspect but the way the story was told it was told in a very annoying way that would spring up a lot of emotions from you that would evoke a lot of emotions like when we're talking about the decisions he find did made the way he went about things you know the way um parasola to went about things she she made how selfish she was you know and you know even with tire i don't even know if it was a deliberate thing like those three most especially like they'll just get you in your feelings get you annoyed if you're somebody that doesn't even talk much at the cinemas you will just you will just find yourself you know dropping one or two comments trying to talk to in fact it's a movie that you don't even need to see alone tell that i saw it with a friend because i was able to talk to her and we we're able to agree that okay i mean this is not giving okay i mean i think i get this part so you know this is not even a movie like it's a movie that would that you would leave the cinemas talking about different things so i i think that was if that was the aim of the writer then it was a success because he actually did that also i like i already said i liked messia igbe and shela's rapport on screen their chemistry the way they gave us this rich auntie rich sibling this basbos no nonsense siblings this only soleno siblings like siblings that would, if you look for their trouble they'll come for you together i really liked it i also like the setting of the film you know the choice of location the houses they used the way the their calls where he was screaming luxury he was screaming affluence he was screaming money he was screaming class 
and it didn't do too much and it wasn't outrageous even their outfits their wardrobe mesa igbe came through even what Ashila was wearing even a mom that as well a corporate wears they came through as well even told me oh joe i mean like what she was wearing all through this film also also came through so i liked their wardrobe so yeah on to the things i didn't like about this film first of all i already ranted about Tyrell Fanning's character it was a huge letdown for me actually considering the fact that we had to see him a couple of times with the lead character it was just like one person was pulling the movie up and another person was just there <laughs> but yeah i didn't like his acting at all i also didn't like you know the kind of decisions that you know perisola took in this film like i said even though i was trying to defend her at some point in this film other times it felt very pointless it felt like she was really really selfish and good so the decisions she made alongside if i it was very questionable and i was just like when it comes to perisola do people really act that way the children really just shut out of there you know just leave the parent that have, have taken care of them for a long time to go and tend to a new parent that just raised their ugly head out of nowhere after leaving you in danger and it reminded me of the movie sister kendi bankoli had suffered on the kids had taken care of them single-handedly and then the father came because he's wealthy and he seemed to be able to tend to some of their desires financially they just drifted away from the mom and were so you know centered on the father so i mean i get that that can happen as well and also in terms of like the way if i went through the went about the whole thing when they just tried to just come and water down Iretiola's pain it was very very annoying to watch very very frustrating also victor acting alongside among me that they like zero chemistry i don't feel like their photo shoots and the old scenario that was on social media the shoots the everything he had there was more chemistry there than we got in the film i'm not even lying also like i already said he finds audacity even though i feel like that was a like a dislike from my own end at the same time i'm trying to say that i'm kind of i'm kind of um torn because i'm like there are people out there that have this audacity there are people out there that are this audacious there are men out there that feel like they can just do whatever they deem fit they feel like they, are, they don't need to be remorseful they can just do whatever whenever but i still didn't like how they went about that story it just felt like they were telling the viewers that it was okay you know you can just leave your responsibility and come back later when everything is rosy or something like that majorly i did not like the resolution of this film i felt like it watered down it with this pain i experienced and that hurt so much and it feels like it just this movie just kept telling men just keep telling men that you know all you have to do is just suffer for a few months when you come back into their life plead and plead and plead and plead try and make a case try and connect to the children at the end of the day they will come back and accept you into their lives it feels like a kind of encouraging fathers to keep running away from their responsibility especially their children so i feel like the resolution in fact is because even i'm trying to spoil the film but the proper thing that if i should have done he didn't do it until after the wedding or during the wedding ceremony like i just felt like that was so unfair to you and i'm just imagining if he was you know if he was in real life like he really just suffered for nothing because right now if i see back into our life into the life of our child can still be called her father and all of those things and you know so she suffered for what for nothing when it comes to my final final verdict on the father or my daddy is actually a good film that you can go check i definitely think you should go to the cinema and see it is definitely worth your time and money we don't know when it's becoming on the streaming platform so it's best if you see it now um when it comes to my ratings i was going to rate this movie a 2.5 but on a second thought, considering the fact that I've actually said a lot of things I liked, um, I'll be rating the film a 3 over 5. If you've seen Ada or Modadi, let me know in the comments what would be your rating. Do you think this my rating is right or it's unfair or it's not balanced? What would you be rating it? Have you seen it? Would you be seeing it right after this review? Let me know in the comments section and please subscribe to the channel, like this video and let's talk in the comments. Bye guys.